Where'd they get in your armadillo? Oh, that was I can't, I'm holding the pole. I really wish I could. Is Desmond free? Can he hold my camera? <laughs> All right, turn that video off and go get me a... I'm down here holding the pole on the door to keep Aries and Orion from going down there and messing with them while they try to get the armadillo out. Artemis is locked in another part of her cage, but she's far less boisterous. So this is the great big armadillo story. Great big armadillo. Oh my god. Buried right under that palm tree. Is it out? Yeah. No, it's no. not out. It oh. moved a little bit, so I moved uh -huh. this net so if it was moving more I could put the net over it. Alright, all right. But Hold it's on. back where it was. Okay. Alright, so Tom, the first thing is <laughs> give me the sawzall. Let me cut some of this crap out of our way so we can well, actually have the room to move. Okay. And I'll then cut we'll cut. And then we'll cut. Um, we'll cut some of that. Watch, move that shovel. And this is how one gets an armadillo out of a hole 101. Have something to put him in when we get him out? We sure do. That's right next to you, Tom. Okay. Now, now maybe we can actually. Let me get this. Don't. Okay. Nobody touch the armadillo with their bare hands. one that's holding him in there. Yeah, the problem is I'm afraid to cut down in there because I don't want to hurt him. Yeah. Because yeah. God only knows how damaged he is already from the cubs. I know. Oh, did they get him? Yeah. They were trying to pull him out. But he's pretty slippery. And he's very strong. Attached them. You gotta take the root out with him. Oops, sorry, Tom. Okay. It's okay. Remember that fly? I got more weight. Alright, well, anyway, I'm just trying to make sure I don't have any, that there's nothing else that he's like attached to under here that, um, yeah, there's another root right here. <coughs> want him to have anything to hold on to, you know what I mean? <coughs> Alright, wait, wait, wait. Alright, so if you grab really close to the base of his tail and try and pull, and then pull back far enough so that I have room to put the net over him. Keep going, pull, 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 pull. Keep going, keep going, keep going, pulling back, pulling back. I can All just right, hang him up put, and no, drop him in there. Just put him down. Put him down. Put him in there. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's injured. Yeah. All right, uh, get the carrier. That's why all the flies. I want to look at that cage and see if it's big enough for a little feather. Because it was just an ocelot cage. I didn't really think it was that big. It's the one that tucks in now? Yeah, it's got like a tiny little bubble on the side. Okay. Um, and she's like, what, 21 years old, though? She sleeps all day. Well, then that would mean, you know, Alex gets this whole thing. Like, he's also 20 years old. He doesn't need that much space. 
Yeah, you don't want I to. I guess if we ended up getting that other bobcat, it could go there. It's hard to believe there's areas of the sanctuary that are still this overgrown. I was snoozing back here before you people so rudely woke me up. We need to make this magnetic so you can just move the little cat pieces around. one yeah three feet okay. yeah and then there's two bobcats over here so we were gonna put a tunnel in there and give Jade and Armani that whole stretch on that road that way they'll have a short one gauge or no because um, we'll do the addition for Jumanji because okay. he was supposed to get that bobcat cage okay um, and then that other bearcat cage we'll put Chitaro in there okay. Reno's gonna go next to Simba and Saber's gonna go in here and then we could put, this is a huge cage. That's good for a cougar. And then these two, so these three cages are all cougar size. And then you got that <laughs> new serval back there in the middle of all them. Oh, <laughs> I guess, <gotta> go. <laughs> yeah, she, I think we were planning on moving her so that we could make the vacation bigger. We were going to tear that cage down, I thought. Oh. Uh, or if we get Rambo's section, are we going to leave that oh. and turn it into a cougar cage? So I'd just, have to go back and look because somehow we're going to be able to have a hole to get that roadway through. Uh, right through there. To drive a we cart were, or something? Well, to get through and then the road was going to go down the wall to the corner. Yeah. But I don't know if there's any other spot further back that we can get back because we've got all kind of room along the wall. We don't have to do it right there. Yeah. The other cages are so close. Um. This actually has a big concrete den too. Oh yeah, it used to be a cougar cage. Mm -hmm. So one, two, the three. The corner, four, I think. Yeah. So if we were able to make this into a cougar cage right here, that's seven cages. All our cougars would be right there next to the vacation cage. Everything except for Alachua Bob has a cougar den, right? Yeah. Then who's going over in this area? Well, I mean, we only have seven cougars. There's bobcats and stuff back there now. They're going to stay back there as bobcats and that won't mess you up with the. Mm -mm. I guess you could put a bear cage to separate red from. There's one already. It's just the wrong color. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> we green. could just make the barricade <laughs> for cleaning right here and right there. Oh, okay. And then. That would clean that up. Or we might be able to run how we was wanting that road. There was nothing cast an iron. We might be able to go in this way and get behind Jade and Armani and make the road. There's actually um, staying out of that ditch that goes up the west wall. There's quite a bit of room right here. Uh, those are those two bobcats that live in the tree, yeah. running bear, and then. There's a bobcat back there, but there's well, a big space. We drive through there all the time. Yeah, we take the cart right back there. So you could almost go straight back there and then and along then the wall. Way up to the corner. And not have to deal with all the hills and stuff back here. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty rough ground over here. Yeah. That's a rare view of Tommy Girl. We don't know how much vision she has. Obviously, she can get up and down on this platform. We put the two boards on the back so she doesn't fall off. And she feels really secure up in that little cubby hole. Any other time there's a mouth here to videotape where she'd be running around and trying to hide. But she can hear me and she knows I'm here. But for some reason that little shelter really seems to give her some comfort. I can't thank Jim and Darren Holly enough for building all of these for the cats. They just love them. Turn the other way. I've never heard them call like that. That is so cool. Maybe you don't like all the bangs. You know, they seem pretty interested in what you're doing. Until I walk down there and uh, <laughs> I go over there and back up checking out of you. <sighs> yeah. They're sneaky, for sure. Yeah, and I've had another one 
scary as all get out and I hadn't even looked. And I don't even know if it's possible, but that's just what I think. Apparently what's wrong with all the tigers is still got to lock somebody up or somebody to go past. Is that still true? I thought we had rearranged the lockout so that we could... Or is that what that did when we moved the lockout? We moved the lockout? And we moved some tunnel. tunnels. Well, then maybe they're okay. I think they are. I, that may only be because there's only, what, three tigers over there in those six cages? If we had... Over here, there's only three tigers? Yeah, there's Alex, Keisha, and Zeus. Oh, okay. Well, but we got another tiger coming in in two weeks that's going to go over there. So that may mess up our tunnel system. I haven't really thought about it. Is that a cat like? I don't often call them giant cats. That's why you fit in here. You're so angel. Yeah. You know, I think your fur looks a little better. We thought maybe he was allergic to some of the stuff in his cage, so we pulled out just about everything. Is it oh no! <laughs> it's chaos! This is the one I took home. Oh my gosh. Julia? Julie. Julie! You're looking so good, Julie! You're like Google Glass. <laughs> Shoulder. Oh, he's purring. Oh, Julie's purring. Oh. Yes, she is. <laughs> Almost done. All done. <gasps> you is the cutest little baby. All right, comrades. <coughs> oh, are you getting that other kitten? Who is getting him? <laughs> you don't have any scruff. You hardly have any scruff at all. You're done. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That was so good. You <laughs> were so good. <gasps> You are going to make somebody such a good pet. <laughs> now we've lost them all. We've lost all your buds. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know. Did you guys get out? They did get out. <laughs> You're so bad. Come here. Come here. <gasps> Two out of three ain't bad. I just gotta find that other little cookie monster. Where's that other cookie monster? They are adorable. You're just adorable. Yes, you are. Oh, squirmy cats. Oh, squirmy, squirmies. <laughs> oh, no, I don't. You don't get any up here? <laughs> oh, you're so fast. It's going to be fun. <laughs> yes, it is. There you go. Good girl. What did you get? Right behind you. Ah! <gasps> 
What has she got over there? You're going to want that. You love the bicycle saber. I love it. You have to chase it. She was the outdoor type. <laughs> you should offer to bring her back lunch. No. She says you've been out here for an hour doing this. Yeah. Oh, she noticed you an hour ago. I said an hour and a half. I, I just had a. Now I'm just throwing out ideas, okay? <laughs> Katie's real bad about you throw out an idea and she takes it and runs for it, but she gets that from me. Uh, <laughs> I'm just throwing my ideas, not going to get <laughs> Oh, sorry, Beth. Uh, by the draw, I got the lot that you're looking at at Carol's Log House. Mama Jack had two vacant lots, so we drew for who gets what, my sister and I. It's to the left of the big log cabin up on top. And North Carolina? Yeah. Okay. I don't know anything about what's going on, so. Okay, North Carolina. And I'll talk next. Um, it already has a septic tank on it, which is $5,000 of it. Um, and I'm thinking, what if? What I, if? I move there? No. <laughs> I'm talking for families for a vacation cabin. Uh, like if everybody goes in on it? Yeah. I'm figuring 100000 you got four families, 25000 each. You can build a vacation place to have for yourself and build it the way you want it. Keep your kayaks up there. <laughs> anyway, let's get on. All right. <laughs> do you guys not have any other cabins up there? How do Jamie stays somewhere all the time? Where does it, she go? It's at Carol's cabin. Oh, okay. Uh, and then they're going to stay at Rosa's in a couple of weeks, which is really nice. <laughs> it makes, but I'm just saying, you know, if they want something. I, I would not do it after all the problems that we had, and I know you wanted that cabin. I felt bad when we sold it, but the, it was just so much trouble as we were getting older, and we just couldn't take care of it, you know? I mean, it's a lot of work. <laughs> well, and they, they just had that big flood up in the big one. I know, I know. And, and all over the nation, they're getting squatters that are squatting. Oh, these boy. Homes. Wow. It's, there's a lot of negatives, but... I need to know where to sell the lot or if, if family wants to. One family could not afford to put something nice up there. Yeah. Uh, anyway. All okay. right. Thank That's you. Something. Try not to get a heat stroke out there. Huh? Try not to get a heat stroke oh, out I, there. I do a little and go in. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. How many times a year do you go to North Carolina? Well, this year it'll be twice. Is everything ready for the newsletter except for my cat story? Is there anything ready for the newsletter? <laughs> okay.